Hello, hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Amin bin Muhammad Yusuf. I'm from 1B Tech Selection 2 Group 1. Today, today, I want to talk about Chapter 4, Lecture of 6. The various ways of eliminating a labor surplus and avoiding a labor shortage. First, goal setting and strategic planning. The purpose of setting specific quantitative goal is to focus attention on the problem and provide a benchmark for determining the relative success of any programs aimed at reducing a pending labor shortage or surplus. Second, downsizing. First, many organizations are looking to reduce costs and because labor costs represent a big part of a company total cost. This is an attractive place to start. Second, in some organizations introducing technological changes or closely outdated or non-profitable facilities reduce the need for labor. The third reason for downsizing is that for economic reason. Some firms change the domestic location of where they conduct business. Third point, yearly retirement programs and buyouts. First, the improvement health of all the people in general in combination with the decreased physical labor in many jobs has made working longer a viable option. Second, Age discrimination legislation and the outlawing of mandatory retirement ages have created constraints on organization ability to unilaterally deal with an aging workforce. Fourth, employing temporary workers. The use of temporary workers frees the firm from many administrative tasks and financial burdens associated with being the employer of record. Temporary employees can sometimes help employees benchmark and improve employer practices by describing how a problem was dealt with effectively by a previous employer. The fifth point, outsourcing and offshoring. Cost saving in this area are easily obtained because rather than purchase and maintain their special, specialized hardware and software, as well, as specialized staff to support such system, companies can timeshare the facilities and expertise of a firm that focuses on this technology. Next, altering pay and hours. These firms may have the option of trying to garner more hours from the existing labor force. In the face of a labor surplus, Organization can sometimes avoid layoffs if they can get their employers to take pay cuts. The last one, flexible work arrangement. Reason for implementing flexible work arrangement range from work life balance initiative to need to increase productivity or to design to maximize physical resources. Next, if the flexible work arrangement help employers in increase retention of valuable employees by giving them more control over when and where they complete the work assigned to them. I think that's all for me. Thank you for learning your ears.